Welcome back to Mason Talks. So today we're gonna talk about LeBron James' cryptic tweets or whatever. So you probably have already seen LeBron's tweets, but we're gonna I'll read them to you if you haven't. So here are the tweets. It's three tweets, but it's basically two tweet whatever. It's okay to know you've made a mistake, because we all do at times. Just be ready to live with whatever that comes with it. That sounds weird. Just be ready to live with whatever that comes with wh with it and be with those who will protect you at all costs. That was two tweets broke. That was one tweet broken into two tweets because he ran out of characters. And uh, people were like, who is that being targeted to? Is it to Kyrie Irving? I heard somebody suggest that it was targeted at Johnny Manziel, but that would be weird because Johnny lost his mind like a month ago and... LeBron would have tweeted him a month ago. So, uh, you know, a lot of people, nobody knows who it's, you know, was tweeted at. And the thing that made it even worse was the fact that LeBron was in Miami with Dwayne Wade when he tweeted it. So, of course, we have all the Cavs fans who are like, that's it, it's a done deal, he's going back to Miami. <laughs> so, first things first, Cavs fans, you guys need to take a chill pill. There are Cavs fans who are like, let's just end the experiment here. Let's blow it up. It's not working. I don't know if you noticed, but we are the top team in the Eastern Conference. And last season, we were, what, two games away from being the NBA champions with just LeBron? You guys need to chill. You guys are acting like we're one of the bottom teams. You, you guys are acting like we're, like, not even in the playoff discussion. It's crazy. <laughs> You guys are acting like we're one of the bottom teams in the East, when really, we are most likely gonna come out of the East, and we're, 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 we're probably gonna be in the finals again. So you guys need to calm down. And the second thing is, LeBron is not gonna go back to Miami. I don't think he's gonna go back to Miami. Could he go back? Yes, he could go back. He keeps signing these little one-year deals so he has some sort of power in the Cavs organization. But will he go back? I highly doubt it. LeBron is all about his legacy. And what, how would it be for his legacy if he, in 2010, ditches his hometown team, goes and plays for the Heat, wins two titles there, and then he comes back to win a championship in Cleveland, trades away our future in Andrew Wiggins, then doesn't win a championship, and then leaves again. That is not being like Mike. <laughs> not saying LeBron wants to be like Mike. I'm just saying that that would not be that great for his legacy. And then he sent out another tweet about an hour before recording this where he said, Can't replace being around great friends that reciprocate the same you know, the same amount of energy back at you in all facets of life. So I honestly think that he's calling out Kyrie and Kevin in saying that they're not supporting him uh, as much as Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh did on and off the court. And I mean, I agree with him. Both Kyrie and Kevin have been awful this season. Well, Kevin's had a decent year, but Kyrie has been awful this season. And you know what? If LeBron is calling out Kyrie and Kevin for not performing as well as they need to, I agree with LeBron. Kyrie Irving is a ball hog when he's playing, and Kevin Love can hit wide open shots. Literally, in my opinion, the only better player on offense for the Cavs this season, except for LeBron, has been J.R. Smith. Why? Because he's been consistently making shots. Speaking of Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love, you can just watch them playing. Even a, even a casual basketball fan could tell you that they don't want it as much as other players. It's bad when two of your big three don't seem like they want to win. There's three players in the Cavs starting lineup that seem like they want to win. LeBron, JR, and Tristan. Those are the three that seem like they want to win. Because you got like JR diving out of bounds to save the ball. You got LeBron doing LeBron things. Tristan crashing the offensive board and getting a lot of offensive rebounds. But like, Kyrie and Kevin need to be like those guys. But yeah, so LeBron's been sending out these cryptic tweets. Cavs fans, Take a word of advice from Aaron Rodgers in R-E-L-A-X. You guys are flipping out for no reason. <laughs> they will make the final. The Cavaliers are going to make the finals. Will they win? It depends on how they play. It depends on if they switch up how they're playing and start playing like a team and start acting like they want to, you know, be on a team together. Leave this drama for the offseason and just play ball. <laughs> but yeah, so LeBron has caused some drama in Cleveland. Let me know in the comments, do you think LeBron will ever leave the Cavs again? Let me know in the comments. Do the Cavaliers make the finals? Let me know in the comments. I, I'm thinking that they probably will. Thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you subscribe to Mason Talks and also leave a like on this video. It would be great. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.